Hey y'all, it's me, Sergeant on the Dragon. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. So let's get into it, okay? Um, I pulled these two cards here, Great Fortune and Courthouse. Um, so this is number 23 and 26. So there could be some type of justice coming to you. If you're involved in some type of court situation, there will be um justice that's going to come towards you and you got despair that came up in reverse this is telling me that you know maybe you're in a space now where you may feel like uncomfortable but in the distant horizons all of that is about to change and go in your favor what else <clears throat> we got message and marriage here okay message and marriage So maybe you could be getting a message about a marriage. And then you got lovers here. Um, and then you have gift on the bottom of the deck. So maybe someone here could be getting married soon. And there's a great fortune that's coming out of this marriage. You're um where once you there was lack, there is no more with the despair coming up in reverse, is what I'm feeling. There's a gift coming main female because you are someone's main female so there's a gift coming to you possibly a gift of commitment um a gift of marriage um unexpected income great fortune there's something that's about to shift here for the collective that's going to be very it's a gift it's like that's all i can really say is it's a gift yeah, possibly someone who you're married to is, um, hmm, going to receive something. There's some type of message coming in about a great fortune, right? Um, due to a marriage. Okay, let's keep going. We'll figure that out. So what's courthouse? Courthouse. Look, courthouse, you got the wedding card, the proposal card. This is a stable situation. This is celebrations, happiness. This is a relationship card, a stable union, okay? Courthouse, or this could be about a house. Uh-oh. <clears throat> yeah you guys are moving forward you guys are possibly moving towards that courthouse towards someone here wants to move forward with you they want to step it up someone here possibly wants to marry you they you're about to get a message look victory and success on the bottom of the day yeah yeah the king of cups flipped over somebody here is madly in love with you and they want to give to you. They want to give you something, something more, something serious, something real. I feel like someone wants to, you know what they say, meet me at the altar in your white dress. Somebody's feeling that energy right now. Let's see, what's this great fortune? Great fortune. Could be a Cancer, could be a Leo. Okay. So I feel like someone here could feel like you're great fortune because of your strength here, because of how strong you are, um, possibly because like, you know, you're like a total wish fulfillment here. And I feel like someone here is ready to like, just settle in to this great fortune like I let me see what else can I say what is what else is the great fortune what's the four of swords is what I want to know four of swords so this could also be something coming to rest um four of swords pair on four of swords is ten of swords something is ending
somebody's in regret. There's an ending and then there's regret here. Um, I'm not too sure what that is or why. Or maybe that's where someone is now or where they were in the past. But your strength is leading you towards a total wish fulfillment, a, a great fortune. So you're being asked to not stop. Whatever this is where you're moving forward and, you know, you're finding stability for yourself. Keep going is what I feel like the message is. Because, yes, you're tired. Yes, you feel like, you know, you've been stabbed in the back a million times. Um, but know that there is a great reward at the end for your strength. This is not done in vain. But, yes, these cycles, they were preparing you for what is to come. What's despair in reverse? But you finally close out this cycle. Despair in reverse. Somebody here is about to take action to work with you. Because again, this is wish fulfillment. Someone here could be um, taking action to want to build a family with you. Despair in reverse, possibly because this person was in a bad space in the past but it's like now that they've taken this risk or you should take this risk know that you sh it is yeah you should take this risk here take this risk um and collaborate with this individual here where because <clears throat> it's 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 everything that you're looking for it's everything you're looking for. You are the king. Look, you're the queen of wands, and this person is the king of wands. What you put out, you're going to receive back. Let me see. What's marriage? Marriage. Seven of Cups, Five of Swords. So with the marriage, let me clarify the Five of Swords. It feels like um, maybe somebody here has had a lot of options before. Maybe somebody here has um, dealt with a lot of sneaky energy, a lot of competitive energies um, that's caused a lot of like confusion, you know, trying to have more than one cup. But I feel like somebody here is ready, is going to propose something stable. They, they're, what's this seven of swords, five of swords, seven of cups? They're ghosting that energy. Okay. They're ghosting their energy with the hermit. They're they're going within themselves and realizing, okay, this is what went wrong in the past. This is what was the problem. There was a lot of competition. There was a lot of um, sneakiness, lying, you know, a lot of deception, a lot of illusions. I'm ready to ghost that energy and find something that's stable here. I feel like someone is looking at you as someone that they can commit to. Proposal of commitment here. So let's see, what's this Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles? Yeah. Somebody here is being guided to a star. You are the star of this person's life. You're also someone who brings balance. That's who this proposal is coming to, this star. Someone here wants to take a risk and just say, fuck it, and do it. That's the truth. They're like, let me just, I just want you. Someone here is ghosting all that sneaky energy, all those lies, all that manipulation, all that hiding, all that. They're ghosting that. 
And they're being guided towards a star, which is you. Or this is you being guided towards a star. You're being called to release what doesn't serve you. Leave that shit out in the cold. All the lies and manipulation, it's not worth it. There's someone here, the star here, that is going to change your life in the, in the best way possible. And I feel like this is all on an emotional base as well because it's like you two are kind of like very fiery and passionate with one another there's a lot of passion um but it's also a lot of power there because you know the king and the queen of wands are very sexy and confident people um so let's see someone here is about to take a risk and propose marriage look so it's, a, it's a, uh, a total wish fulfillment new love an opportunity at healing. Okay? That's a big ace of cups. What's this message? Message, please. Message, message. Somebody could have a baby mom situation here. Maybe not really knowing what to do with this baby mom situation. Um, that's what I'm getting from this Empress card. Because this not working, this work card is in reverse. So this is juggling back and forth, feeling like, I don't know, you know, should I still work with this person, you know, or should I leave it alone? Someone here doesn't know what they want exactly to do. Um, and I feel like that's a message. Let me see. Yeah, because someone here is in despair about this. This Queen of Cups, this baby mother figure, is in despair about this commitment that now you're in with this star or you will be in with this star. Because they they feel left out in the cold. Hmm. Okay, so lovers. What's this lovers card? Yeah. They feel left out in the cold. They also feel weighed down, by the way. They feel weighed down. They could be very dependent on you or this person. Message. This message coming in. It's a message. Somebody here is about to make a judgment call. You can also get a message. Someone here could want to um, I hear child support. Walked away. Look. Lovers. What's the lovers? someone here it's fell out over here on the seven of swords five of swords energy with that seven of cups energy and i feel like you know with it in reverse the eight of swords is telling me that somebody's releasing some type of fear they're releasing some type of mentality at one point this person was very close-minded but i feel like they're starting to open their minds to the possibilities of um new opportunities this king of cups here is looking towards this queen of wands we already seen that the queen of wands already matches his energy with the queen the king of wands right and this person is going to feel as though you two can have justice together you two balance each other excuse me when this person is hot you're cold or cold or hot or i don't know pretty much you two just balance each other in some kind of way here Excuse me. And I see that you two will be starting this passionate new beginning. Okay. Yeah. And this person from the past here is watching you make this decision. Wanting, holding on to you and, and heartbroken. This queen of swords. This person. Who, this is the, the ex of the king of wands. The king of cups individual. This is the ex. The queen of swords. This person's holding on. This person's still bitter. This person's still mad. 
this person is, you know, upset, stuck. What's this uh, main female? The main female is the star. Like I said, that's you. You're the main female. You're the star. You're the hierophant. And you're the one who's also protected here. You're the whatever this relationship, this bond, this connection, this spiritual marriage, <clears throat> excuse me, or whatever this is. This is something here that's very serious. It's protected. Whatever this is with this star will always be protected. There's guys that are all that are all around this connection between you and this individual here. So it's not as though anything can come in between it. But I do feel like someone here feels betrayed by, you know, this past person. This past person, um, this this man's ex, the Queen of Swords, feels betrayed because things are over with here. Okay. Um, yeah, things are over with here. Mm. Okay. So, great fortune. Someone here, I feel like maybe in the past this person had a lot of money with someone else, but still chose to move forward and collaborate in a new way because it's like you're the you're a wish fulfillment. Okay, you you make it you feel good. You make this person feel good. Okay? And so yeah, this other person, their their ex is upset. Because it's over. They feel betrayed. Let's see, what's this unexpected income? Unexpected income. Unexpected income. Ooh, it's a tower moment. Unexpected income. Tower moment. Somebody made an investment here. What's the unexpected income? Possibly in about seven months. Um, possibly about seven months. Yeah, definitely seven. Maybe even a year. Maybe. But, um... Someone here may, is going to make an investment here. They're going to have to make a sacrifice. Okay? Make a sacrifice and just move. Um, someone here is going to make a sacrifice. That's all I'm going to say. What's the Knight of, what's the Knight of Wands? Knight of Wands. Unexpected income. Somebody here thought that maybe... There's a karmic here. There's a karmic individual who got heartbroken. Possibly somebody tried to make an investment to keep somebody stuck with sex. Tried to keep them stuck through sex here as well. Somebody's thinking that if they had sex with this person, that this person would begin to start giving them something. But they're not. They're still moving forward. Someone here is still moving forward. This, like... Yeah. Five of Cups. I mean, Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups. You still, this person still doesn't want whatever this is, this Knight of Wands energy. Someone here is trying to throw, like, lust in this person's way or something like that. And this is actually pushing the King of Wands further away. Because... Why did it stop? What happened? Why did this person stop having sex with that person? Oh, because they got into the commitment. Or because they're about to get into a commitment with you. Okay, so maybe this person's baby mom, they were like, somehow she was like, okay, if we sleep together, you pay me. And maybe that stopped. Or maybe the, if it's not this person's baby mom, maybe it's just a Libra. Maybe it's just a water sign. Someone here was like, okay, you sleep with me, you pay me. And that stopped. And for whatever reason, when that stopped... It's because this person 
was um, coming towards you with this Ace of Pentacles, or he, or he or she will be coming towards you with this Ace of Pentacles, and it's Knight of Wands energy who is playing all these kind of mind games and stuff. Anyway, um, they're getting left out in the cold because this person cares for you. This person cares for you. This person is choosing to uh, move away from the conflict here. There will be some conflict from whoever this is. If this is a baby mom or um, just a war sign, there will be some type of conflict. But look, like I said, somebody here wants to propose. This person is coming in knowing very quickly. They're coming in very quickly and they know exactly what they want. They want real love. They want true love. They want something stable and commit, committed. They want a commitment here. They're leaving something in the past. They're leaving possibly even this. If this is not a person, this is just player ways. Somebody don't want to be a player no more. So they coming over here to you who is the star. And you're the star because they need ju they want justice with you. And because you two have a very uh, fiery passion that is irreplaceable. Ooh, y'all. Ow. Get ready. Look, that's the truth. That's the truth. Okay. That's the truth. It's written in y'all's destiny. The will of fortune is turning in your favor. If you're not in a relationship, get ready. Somebody is literally moving and leaving one person to come towards you. Someone is totally done with a situation in the past where there was a bunch of lies, manipulation, a lot. Of, you know, it's just a bunch of confusion here and so this person no longer wants to work with that person there they no longer want to be involved in that situation um and they could have been you know juggling in their mind how to do it and what to do but they're no longer they're no longer doing that they see exactly where they want to go they see exactly where they want to go they see exactly where they want to have happiness where they have justice at it could have been taking a, a, a lot out of this person to even stay where they were. But somebody found the strength to love themselves and put that situation to rest. And now they're moving forward towards great fortune. Somebody here is no longer choosing to be in despair. They want marriage here. They don't want to be they don't want to be in a type of situation where if this person is married, this person is married to somebody who has a lot of who does not love them and does not value them and treats them really bad. If that's the case, then that and that person is going, this person is getting ready to go ahead to the courthouse and file the paperwork, move forward with their life, and they're coming to you. Somebody here is courthouse, great fortune, despair in reverse. Nobody's, somebody's no longer in despair. They have this great fortune. This is like a newfound happiness, a total wish fulfillment. Um, releasing whatever this marriage is. Possibly somebody could be getting married, married, uh, or I mean divorced and jumping straight into another marriage. And this is happening pretty fast. And this would be, I don't know if this is someone from your past or if this is someone new. It seems like it's someone totally new because we see the Ace of Cups. I didn't see no Three of Cups or no Six of Cups. This seems like somebody new. Somebody, it's like y'all are going to fall head over heels with one another. This person is going to give you their all. And they're cutting off whoever this was that they were taking care of. But this is an ordained connection. Like, this is something that was destined to be for you in your life. This is protected. Um, but it's all about whether or not you're willing to take the risk when you meet this person. You know, it's like one of those when you know, you know. This person you're going to know. And with that, this is just your warning because maybe this person may not be honest about what they're going through because of the way that, you know, being afraid of how you may react and just, you know, it's a sticky situation. It doesn't exactly look good, but this person is definitely not um, in a committed relationship where they're happy and um, actually trying to work on things. They're, this person is getting divorced. OK, um, the papers is really already signed. Either they're getting divorced or they are already divorced. Somebody is going to divorce that person and literally come and get on their knees and propose to you because they know you're the one. 
This could be somebody who you met maybe like six weeks ago. I mean, seven weeks ago. This could happen in seven months. Um, you know, the number seven is significant. I'll give you some more numbers here. So we got one, 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 one. And then you got a number 10. You got a number three. Then you got the number, I want to say 90. Yeah, then you got the number 90. So what exactly does that mean? Possibly something in the beginning of the week. Mondays could be very significant here. The first of the month is significant. You got three. Um, it could be in three weeks. It could be in one week, um, one day, you know. This is, um, this could happen in October with the 10. This could happen in January. Um, but with the 90, for me, what it's telling me is like, how much of a chance does this have of happening? It's a 90% chance that this is going to happen and you two are going to click immediately. Like, so let's get, do I have my signs? I can get some signs for you. So we got Capricorn, Aquarius, Taurus, Gemini, and we got Gemini twice, so I'll roll it again. Capricorn, Aquarius, Taurus, Gemini, and uh, oh, that's Aquarius. Okay, so they might have um, Gemini and Aquarius highly aspected in their chart. Um, that's fell on a card that doesn't count. And then we have Aries. Okay, so yeah. Those are your messages, guys. I hope it resonates. Go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.